Meanwhile, three people are behind bars tonight, accused of burglarizing and destroying property at a popular Livingston Parish baseball park. NBC Local 33's Kennedy Walker spoke to park leaders and players who say they can't imagine why someone would do this. It pisses me off because we, we spend a lot of time and money up here in this park for the community. And to have um, people come up here and vandalize it, um, it really burns me up. Trent Acosta is talking about the break-in, burglary, and damage that happened earlier this week at Colyell Baseball Park in Livingston Parish. Three people were arrested, two minors, and 19-year-old Brandon Holland. The suspects damaged a golf cart and broke the garage doors. $10,000 plus dollars worth of damage and... We just don't have it. And this ATV was also ruined. Not only are the seats completely torn, but I can actually lift it up. And this transmission, as you can see right here, is jammed. It can no longer move. And right here, this actually used to be a cover for the ATV, but as you can see, it's damaged. Park manager Coon Taylor says he doesn't know how they will come up with the money. We had a loss right now. We had a severe loss. This place is here for the kids and we look at it that these kids in this community has got to have a place for them to go to help keep them off in the streets and stuff. Kids like 17-year-old Hunter Wheat. He's been playing at Colliel Park since he was a toddler. He says knowing that someone burglarized his second home is devastating. What, what was the point of somebody doing it? There wasn't really no reason to be done. Taylor says the victims here are the kids. He's hoping for a miracle. The hurt's going to continue. It's going to continue to hurt until we get back on our feet. Kennedy Walker, NBC Local 33 News. Now, all three suspects in this case were charged with three counts of burglary and damage to property.